Archery Talk. This is Lucas, and um, I kind of want to talk to you a little bit about my first kind of indoor tournament at a club other than my own in maybe three years. I shot a, shot this past weekend. Uh, I don't historically love shooting indoor, like 18 meter, 20 yard uh, tournaments, but I know I should do it because it does help uh, the rest of my game out a lot more uh, when I do kind of concentrate on it. And I've been practicing a bunch, and I've been shooting well enough for me that I've been happy with how it's been going. Um, I, again, I, you may have seen other videos where I switched to the specialty archery double vision system. Uh, I'll put a I'll put a link up in uh, in the description for you guys to check that out if uh, if you'd like to see it. And it's it's kind of helped alleviate the little bits of you know the last residual bits of target panic I was having, where I was I would bring the bow to draw, and when the dot was in the middle, then immediately drop low and then try to crawl back up. That help has helped really kind of rectify that problem which has been great uh and the score has been good you know i'm not a, I'm, i'll never be a pro archer that's not a concern of mine but uh, i've been happy with the pro with the progression which is a nice thing so i figured all right i better start shooting at tournaments outside of the comfort of my own club and it really has been three years since i did it last um i've actually only done f this will, this is only the fifth time in my life i've ever shot an indoor tournament at another club it's just not what i like to do uh and last time i did it was at lancaster uh three years ago and oh boy did i uh lay a stinker in that one but anyway, so I was prepped. It was a five spot tournament, which I kind of like five spot. It's a, uh, you know, I just think my goal is just to hit a 300 with this, you know, a decent half decent max count. That's the goal. Nothing crazy. Um, and you know, I hit 300s basically every time I shoot them at my club. It's not that difficult. My X counts aren't great. Usually between, you know, the low forties and squeeze into the fifties, uh, occasionally. Um, and so that was the goal going in and I've been shooting well and, uh, and I got there and I was shooting fine in my warmups and everything was cool going according to plan. And then as, as soon as they, they said, all right, this is the last practice end time to get time to go for the tournament. Um, I, I don't, I wouldn't say I had target panic. It felt like I had panic panic. Uh, I started sweating all of a sudden. This is a, this is a local provincial tournament. Not, not, not a big deal. Uh, and my hand was shaking and, uh, I, I get up and get to the line and draw my bow back and it feels like I'm uh, I'm pulling back a left-handed bow. I just it's I I can't hold it steady at all. And it's not target panic. I'm not I guess that's not what the issue is. I'm not doing a last minute drop of the bow. I just st I'm I am having this weird little anxiety of some sort. Um and I don't know what what the cause is. I know I don't like it. I don't want it to happen again. Uh, both times I've shot big tournaments. I went to, I shot Vegas once in like after I've been shooting like a year, which was a bad idea. Don't do that. And I shot Lancaster once, and and I had comparable situations at both of those tournaments. Um, I just thought now I've been shooting more, and I, I was feeling, and it wasn't. It's was just a, you know, it's a club an hour away for the provincial five five spot championship, and I it was for and for the first three and a half ends, uh, I was just a, a, a train wreck, um, and it wasn't until I'd adequately ruined the round that. Everything just vanished. I was no longer sweaty. I was no longer shaking, and I uh, I closed up the last eight ends shooting great. Um, but of course, the round was uh, the damage was done by that point. So I don't know how to fix this. Um, uh, again, I don't know what the answer is. I've I played sports my whole life. I kind of I, I started doing archery after playing basketball and things like that. We're just getting too hard on me physically as I got older. Uh, but you know, I was I was a half decent athlete. I was very good at I, I was good at like track events and basketball things where I have to run really fast or jump really high those that's what I was good at uh, I was never good at things like golf and archery is basically golf like the same year it's 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 an all mental game and goodness I need some work in the mental department uh, with with the tournament archery so uh, if you got any suggestions please I'm all ears um, but uh, I don't know what the I don't know what to say it's it was so discouraging uh, it felt great once I was done with the first three and a half ends uh, everything was going well after that uh, I just had to make sure I, I blew the 300 before I could uh, I could go on and, and shoot normally again. Um, so anyway, I don't know what I don't know what else to say. It's a it's a bit disappointing because I've been shooting you know for me so well and I've been really happy with how it's been how it's been going and that uh, I don't know I don't I don't know if the answer is to shoot more of the tournaments just to get used to it. Maybe I, maybe I'll do another one and it won't bother me as much and I don't know what the answer is. Um, I don't I don't like to commit to a lot of tournaments because I you know I got family I want I got my kids I want to hang out with on the weekend. So it's hard to get to a lot of tournaments, but uh, maybe that is the, the the idea is what I should do to fix it. Anyway, if you got some suggestions, let me know in the comments section. Uh, you, you got a self-help guru or something? I don't know. I feel like I need to do something fairly drastic so this doesn't happen again because it was, ah, I felt this some weird mix of 
of disappointment and shame at the whole thing. Because, you know, you work hard uh, and trying to do something that you know you can do. You do it every day and you get to a, just a small stage. Just there's only 25 people there. Oh, yeah, it was so, so discouraging. But anyway, Archery Talk, thanks for hearing me vent. Uh, please do like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel an awful lot. And we'll see you again soon.